the recommendation that FIG reduce the fee from £5,400 to a nominal fee of £15 a month and are looking to do that within four months is a fantastic achievement. I'm delighted that the committee have agreed with us that the existing legislation is no longer fit for purpose for the Falkland Islands. That is something that we are looking for them to address. We're also looking forward to seeing the process as the recommendations from the committee move forward to the Legislative Assembly. I think it was really good that all eight uh, MLAs spoke very strongly in favour of the recommendations from the committee. I think that's testament to the strength of feeling, strength, testament to the strength of feeling in the community as well. Um, at the end of the day, we have been elected to represent the people of the Falklands and you know, I think we, we take note of, of what people uh, feel on these issues. The next step is that the, um, the statement that we made at the end, the, the, uh, um, the, the findings from the Select Committee, get taken to the Legislative Assembly <clears throat> at the end of this month, where they'll be announced, agreed by the members, and then they are forwarded on to the government for further action. Nothing is solid until the government and the government being a paper then goes to Exco, Exco makes policy, and then they push that through the Legislative Assembly. Um, so, you know, there is nothing that is certain until it has gone through that process. And I think another thing, obviously, <coughs> separate to the Select Committee, but still around this whole subject, is the announcement of the new consultants that are going to be looking into everything. Who are they? How were they chosen? And when will that work begin and end? Right. Well, Cambridge MC were, were chosen, I think, through um, uh, the Director of Central Services. They put a, a tender out and they had a, a group of people interviewing potential people. Chris Gare, who's been involved from the outside on telecoms, and, but has a great deal of knowledge on telecommunications, was involved in the selection of Cambridge MC. Uh, so, you know, we would hope that we've got a, a decent firm to do a review of where we need to take telecoms in the future. I've been in, involved and I'm very pleased to be asked to be involved with Becky Clark's team here in selecting the consultancy going forward. And, and I found that a very pleasing aspect. That there was a, a high number of companies wanted to sort of come in and uh, Becky's team did a superb job in in prioritising them and going through them and I sort of came in independently and you know I, I looked at them we went through a subset of oral interviews and I, I completely agreed with the team's work in terms of the prioritisation prioritization and, and how what they were looking for in, in the qualities of the consultancy so I had no issues at all with the uh, with the choices that they made and I think Cambridge MC is going to be um, you know, an, ex an excellent company in this. I think it's going to be, you know, great fun and interest, you know, and, and involvement over this next next few months. And of course, then there's a challenge of, you know, what happens at the end of the license. And you know, uh, I think there's lots of options here of going forward. The main thing is is that you need to have um, a, a very cost effective network. I your consumers' money goes into the into the network, not. Uh, offshore and um, something that's going to be reliable and, and is an investment for the future you know for, for many for many decades